Hi everyone, it's Liz here. Thank you for joining me today. I am so excited. I was so inspired by some goodies I recently received from a few awesome ladies. And I was making a fabric covered um, standard size traveler's notebook for myself and I had a little bit left over. So I was able to make a couple more. Now this is from the fabric I received from Patty Lang at Sacred Mementos. I will link her shop below. And I made um, one for myself and I had some little tidbits left over. So I added some of my additional fabric pieces and was able to get two made. I'm so happy with them. I love how they looked and I love um, Patty's uh, fabric because she had sent it all nice and stitched up so it's just it's just gorgeous and it feels amazing you guys I was able to also add some fabric tabs for my fabric scrap bits uh, they're quite similar um, I tried to keep the aesthetic very similar I also use things from Caroline um, Caroline's craft tree you saw those gorgeous paper clips she sent me I will link her shop below as well and this is from Janine's shop Janine's scraps and as you can see I've just added so many goodies there's some duct tape in the back here that has like a, a tree pattern with some flowers that I thought went so perfectly with it. And then I will link below also all the digitals that I've used. I've used some uh, paper packs and it's just, oh, it's just such a nice mix of everything. This is also from Janine Shop the Bag and some additional ephemera pieces as well. I had so much fun making these, you guys. Um, this is also a vintage piece from Caroline's shop. Um, again, I'll link all the things below and I'll also link the videos of um, the goodies that I received from them. If you guys haven't seen it yet, it's awesome. Uh, so this is from Janine's shop as well. As I said, I've, oh my gosh, I've just used such a variety. This is all Janine's shop. Uh, and that's J9 Scraps. I will link her shop as usual below. Um, I did have this piece of vintage stationery. I have a few pieces of it, so I thought I would add it as a page here. Did a little bit of collage. And as you can see, it's just such a nice variety. This is like sketchbook paper, uh, this little piece here. And then I've also added a piece of my acrylics um, paint. I did a like a paint pour, and so I took a bit of a, an image of it so I can add it here. Um, added some additional vintage stickers here, price stickers, and then the bottom is that nice little fabric trim from um, Carolyn Jensen's shop, which is again Carolyn's craft tree. I got this from Andrea a long time ago and I loved it, so I'm using one of them, as well as Daphne's Diary Magazine pages that I thought went so well with this um, traveler's notebook. So you can see just a nice variety. Um, again, with the fabric tabs, some of the gorgeous scrapbook pieces, um, vintage uh, graph paper there, and then just little touches here and there to just give it some texture. So the center here, I've also added this from Janine's shop. I made it into a tag and then a vintage piece of um, wallpaper. I thought you could, um, this could be used like as an ephemera kit as well, that all the pieces that I'm adding in here could be added to the traveler's notebook or um, you know somewhere else but I thought it'd be a nice um, extra to have. I love this image from Daphne's Diary so I thought I would add it to this one and I love the other side as well with the watercolors so I just thought it was so perfect. This um, here at the top is also from uh, Carolyn's shop. I love these little um, inspiration tags I think she calls them. So you can see there's plenty of space to journal. I made sure to leave lots of that in here to add pictures, to um, do some collaging. Oh my gosh, I love this size. Look at these images. This is also from Caroline Shop. This is the paper um, gathered look um, stitched up as well with some little beads on it. I love how it looks. More tiny little collaging space there just to give a page a little bit of interest and maybe some ideas on what you could do with it as well. Another pocket. I've added some ribbon to these sides as well. And um, there are some coffee stain pages. And then more ephemera bits here that you can use um, throughout. I think I've got a little double sided heart here as well. Yeah. So um, that's the first one. And as I said, um, they'll be kind of similar. Um, I used my stamp at the bottom. This is actually also from um, Caroline. Thank you so much. I'll I'll show you guys that at a later video. I think um, she sent me this really awesome stamp set. And anyways, I'm using that as my little um, um, 
I guess, uh, name and stamping for my work. So this is the other one with some of the leftover bits again from um, from the uh, Patty's shop. And again, as you see, it's very similar pieces. Um, I've used a different paper clip, of course, from Caroline's shop. And then some additional ephemera pieces. So it's, I, I tried to keep this one fairly similar to the other one, just so that it was almost like twinsies, but not. Again, from um, Caroline's shop. And then uh, on the inside, again, I did a little flip up with a double-sided piece of um, cardstock. I thought was just such a great image and these will be available in my shop you guys um, hopefully soon I'll be able to list them just wanted to get the video in while I have some sunlight again a little bit of collaging this page here had a little bit of trim again with that gorgeous sticky that I got from Andrea thank you Andrea and um, just some additional goodies another one of the um, the tags there from Caroline's shop, vintage um, stationery again, and then this image from Daphne's diary, which I also loved with the garden theme. As you can see, I've also added some of the fabric tabs as well, and um, like that little paper clip with the light bulb. Again, that little fabric bit there from Caroline's shop. I love those. I got so inspired by going through all the goodies that she sent, and of course the one Patty has sent as well. Um, I'm still working on some of those. This is vintage wallpaper again, and then some more pieces from Janine's shop, and some more digitals that I'll be linking below. Hopefully I'll remember everything I've used because it's like a, a really nice um, collage of um, different digitals and stuff in, in these ones, which I thought were so fun. So again, lots of space to journal, memory keeping, photos, um, scrapbooking, glue books, etc. The other side of that vintage stationery. I just love these so much, you guys. More collaging. Again, I didn't do a lot to the pages because I thought, you know, whoever gets these can add their own things, but I did want little touches like these ones here and there, um, which I thought were so nice. And they're unique in their own way because um, she hand makes these, so they're all unique how they come out, which I absolutely love. And then this bag again with some additional ephemera pieces. I think I've got some tags and stuff in there as well. And then the uh, back page. So I hope you enjoyed the flip through, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Questions, comments, as always, please leave them below. I had so much fun putting these together. I wish I had more of those um, that fabric from um, Patty's shop, but I'm sure you guys check out her um, store. She's got lots of little kits and stuff to offer um, as well as Caroline's shop as you guys have seen the videos I'll link all that below thank you for joining me see you guys next time bye